Okay guys, so I'm gonna talk a little bit loud because it is pouring out here. It is only four o'clock guys and it is, I mean look, the lights came on um, and they're censored for darkness. So, I mean, this is just unbelievable. All right, so guys, my pumpkins are just being overpowered. I cannot keep up on these weeds. My cucumbers are finally looking like they want to grow. And I just, I have so many weeds, guys. My sunflower fell over. I mean, look at it. This grass is just so tall. Um, lost a couple pumpkins in there. I'm not even sure if they're gonna survive. So what we did is we made a trip to um, Lowe's because they had mulch. Um, five for ten dollars and loaded the back of the truck up um bought I don't know 20 bags or so and we're gonna try to get this area right here coming down and then that area right there as well um and we're gonna put down the weed cloth and then put the mulch on top of it and I mean we might have to go get another 20 bags who knows but at forty dollars for 20 bags of mulch I am all for it I would like to be able to mulch around my pear tree out there, my little blueberry bushes right there, and then even um, the pear tree over there, the peach tree right there, then there's one around the corner of the house, and the trees on that side of the house as well, but we'll see. So um, this video you will be seeing, um, it'll lead into tomorrow, so all this rain will subside and I will be out there um, doing some more mulching and all that um, I don't think we're doing any of it today not even cutting the weed cloth like this is going to be one of those um, gonna figure out something else that I could record for you guys inside today because I was not expecting this and then I'll finish, I'll finish this video up tomorrow but I just wanted to show you guys um, this is just amazingly overgrown and I think we have the rain to um, thank for it. The azaleas is still growing in that little area right there. Half of it we've killed so we're still trying to get out that other half. We just want um, this to be a nice front yard for sitting and enjoying. Alright guys, so I'm going to cut this video short um, here although it's going to continue on into so um you'll be seeing tomorrow's footage for the second half of this video all right guys guys as you can see different clothing different day so um it's been surprisingly just extremely hot oh, excuse me i think i got attacked by red ants oh my finger's on fire so i'm gonna show you what we did do um we're gonna put some more on top of here now since we got the weed cloth and the mulch down, but um, we haven't even done that side yet. We just weed eated, so that's going to be another day. We're going to go back and grab some more mulch at 5 for $10. You can't really beat that price. Alright guys, so this is what it looks like. There's my windmill. These are the pumpkins that's growing in there that we couldn't really see. I'm going to lay that one back down. Hopefully it continues to be okay the base of that was really really bad so I might have to plant I'm probably gonna plant one or two anyway to see if they'll survive better now um, I don't know if you could tell but right about there was where my sunflower was and one of those pumpkin plants assassinated it so it put its little tendrils on it and tried using it to climb up came out here um, it was laying down and I was gonna try to stake it up but this time just already seemed messed up so I'm gonna put another sunflower I'm gonna put another pumpkin plant for that one right there because the stem is um, kind of rotted um, and I know there's a bug that does that so and then I'm gonna put my hanging um, hook here again and which is laying down over there and put something on it this pumpkin looks funny but that's because it was growing out here so I just kind of coached it back into the bed and I'm hoping now since the mulch is down that it'll stay there so you can still see some of the weed cloth over here however guys I mean look at that that is so much better it's so pretty um, we did black mulch because um, I don't know if you could tell but the brick on the house it's in between 
um, a brown and a red. I mean, it is mostly like a chocolate brown. However, the brown mulch has too much um, brown in it and the red mulch is too red. So we were just like, forget it. Um, black's the way to go. Um, we're just hoping that it doesn't heat up too much. All right, guys. Well, it is wicked hot. So I'm going to go in. I'm going to take a shower. Uh, my chicken's ready, so I just got to make some rice to eat with it, but I want to shower first. So I will see you on the flip side, and be blessed.